Nick Hardy, 2016 Illinois State Amateur Champion. Uh, this is an event that you've come close in the last couple of years. What does it mean to you to, to finally be able to put your name on that trophy? You know, it means a lot to me. I, my whole life I've wanted to put my name on that trophy, and um, being so close the past couple of years really motivated me this year to come back and win it. And um, being able to get it done really it means a lot to me, and it feels great, yeah. Coming into today, you were one stroke back. You knew you had 36 holes, a ton of golf to go. Uh, what was your mindset coming in? And even in your wildest dreams, did you imagine kind of running away with the tournament like you did? No, not really. I, I uh, you know, obviously I came in the day wanting to win. Um, I didn't really care, you know, the margin of victory, if it was one or 10 or anything. I just, you know, wanted to get it done. And I know Brian and Patrick along with back and even Charlie, Raymond, TK, uh, my whole life and I know that they're great players as well so I had to play well and um, I came out and I had my really close to my best stuff all week so it, was, it means a lot to me for sure. You know you had an early bogey um, Brian had a couple birdies early on actually extended that lead a little bit um, but it was around the turn where you kind of seemed to steady he had a couple bogeys and and you really seemed to take off maybe specifically that 13th hole he double bogeyed you birdied that was a three shot swing and it kind of seemed like you took off from there. Yeah, that's definitely where I look back to in the tournament. I mean, Brian, you know, kind of got a bad break. He hit it a little right on 13 and it hit the car path when OB. So um, I capitalized with the birdie there and um, kind of took me ahead. And, you know, I never really let go from there. I, I didn't really make any mistakes after that. So that, that was definitely the turning point. What kind of changes, if any, were there, you know, in your game plan as the, your lead started to get larger and larger and the number of holes you had left uh, smaller and smaller? You know, not really anything, honestly. Uh, I took out maybe a couple irons off some, a couple tees, but uh, it didn't really change. I just kind of tried to stay aggressive and make some birdies, and I obviously did coming in, so um, I played well coming in. You know, you touched on what it meant to win this event, but, you know, you probably heard already, but you set the record for, you know, lowest score to par, lowest aggregate score. You know, what does it mean to you to, to win it in that fashion as well, in record-breaking fashion? It means a lot to me. I definitely... You know, I came out here and put a poster stamp on that for sure. Um, it means so much to me. I, I didn't even expect myself to be that low out, even during the practice round. Um, so it definitely means a lot to me, and it, you know, I'll always look back at this one. That eagle putt on 18, I'm sure uh, that would have just been even more icing on the cake, right? Yeah, that would have been awesome. I really wanted that one to drop. Unfortunately, it didn't, but um, what can I do? I hit a good putt.